Hello there. Today I'll be going through 24 questions from chapter 3 covering the long and illustrious history of the UK. I'll read each question, give you a moment to think about the answer, and then reveal the correct response. Is the statement below true or false? King Henry VIII created the Church of England when the Pope refused to grant him a divorce. False. True. Correct answer. True. The Bill of Rights of 1689 limited whose powers? The Church. Parliament. Judges. The King. Correct answer. The King. How did Jane Seymour die? The plague. Old age. She was executed. Following childbirth. Correct answer. Following childbirth. Which two developments were features of the Industrial Revolution? Machinery. Medical advances. Changes in the law. Steam power. Correct answers, steam power and machinery. Which two developments are associated with the swinging 60s? Abortion law reform. Decimal currency. Children's rights law reform. Divorce law reform. Correct answers, abortion law reform and divorce law reform. D-Day refers to what event in British history? British invasion of Europe in 1994. On the 6th of June 1944, Allied forces landed in Normandy. Battle of Trafalgar. End of the war in Europe in 1945. Correct answer, on the 6th of June 1944, Allied forces landed in Normandy. Is the statement below true or false? King Henry VIII created the Church of England when the Pope refused to grant him a divorce. True. False. Correct answer. True. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, which two major new industries developed? Aviation. Automobile. Coal mining. Shipbuilding. Correct answers, aviation and automobile. The term suffragettes is associated with which group of people? Children. Women. Men. Migrants. Correct answer, women. Henry VII established the House of Tudor. What color rose became the Tudor emblem? Red. Red and white. White. Pink. Correct answer, red and white. Which of these statements is correct? By the middle of the 15th century the last Welsh rebellions had been defeated. By the middle of the 17th century the last Welsh rebellion had been defeated. Correct answer, 
by the middle of the 15th century the last Welsh rebellions had been defeated. Which of these statements is correct? By 1400 the preferred language of English court was French. By 1400 the preferred language of English court was English. Correct answer, by 1400 the preferred language of English court was English. Which group of refugees settled in England before 1720? Brelands. Huguenots. Germans. Welsh. Correct answer, Huguenots. Is the statement below true or false? Shakespeare was a great English playwright. False. True. Correct answer, true. After the abolition of slavery, more than two million migrants came from which two countries to replace the freed slaves? Russia. India. China. Australia. Correct answers, China and India. Which of these statements is correct? The Anglo-Saxon kingdoms were united under King Kenneth MacAlpin. The Anglo-Saxon kingdoms in England were united under King Alfred the Great. Correct answer, the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms in England were united under King Alfred the Great. Is the statement below true or false? In 1833 a law abolished slavery throughout the British Empire. False. True. Correct answer, true. Which of these statements is correct? The Black Death was a plague that only had an impact in Ireland, where many people died. The Black Death brought about major changes in English society due to the number of people who died. Correct answer, the Black Death brought about major changes in English society due to the number of people who died. In which part of the British Empire did Boer War of 1899-1902 take place? South Africa, India, Australia, Canada. Correct answer, South Africa. Which two of the following were important 20th century inventors? Alan Turing, Tim Berners-Lee, Isambard Kingdom Brunel, George Stevenson. Correct answers, Alan Turing and Tim Berners-Lee. Which part of the UK is associated with Robert Burns, 1759-96? Wales. England. Scotland. Northern Ireland. Correct answer, Scotland. Which of these statements is correct? The Battle of Agincourt is commemorated in the Bayux Tapestry. The Battle of Hastings is commemorated in the Bayux Tapestry. Correct answer, the Battle of Hastings is commemorated in the Bayux Tapestry. The Union flag consists of three crosses. One is St. George's. 
Who do the other two crosses represent? Saint Andrew. Saint Patrick. Saint David. Saint Pyrrhon. Correct answers, St. Andrew and St. Patrick. Which of these statements is correct? Hadrian's Wall was built on the orders of the Roman Emperor Hadrian. Hadrian's Wall was built by the Picts, ancestors of the Scottish people, to keep out the Romans. Correct answer, Hadrian's Wall was built on the orders of the Roman Emperor Hadrian. Congratulations to all of you who answered the questions correctly. You have shown a strong understanding of the fundamental values and principles of British life. Well done. For those who made some mistakes, do not be discouraged. Use this as an opportunity to learn. Review the questions you missed and retake the test when you feel ready. With focus and dedication, you will succeed. I believe in each one of you. You all have the potential to pass this test and fulfill your dreams of becoming a UK citizen or permanent resident. Stay determined and keep pushing forward. The reward will be worth the effort. This test covers only a sample of the key topics you'll need to know. To fully prepare for the Life in the UK exam, be sure to check out the other test videos we have available. By taking all of our practice tests, you'll gain experience with a wide variety of questions and improve your knowledge of British traditions, history, culture and more. The more you test yourself using our video series, the better prepared you'll be for the real exam. So keep studying, take our other practice tests, and you'll be on your way to passing the life in the UK tests.